Hello everyone, it's Megan from KenHub here, and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the lymphatics of the heart. In this video we'll be exploring the pathways in which lymph travels from the heart to the venous system. Before we begin, let me give you a quick overview of what we're going to talk about today. First we'll look at these two components separately, the lymphatic system and the heart. Then we'll put them together and discover where and how these two components interact by looking at the lymphatics of the heart which is of course the topic of this tutorial. Finally, we'll conclude this tutorial with some clinical notes relevant to the topic. First, let's take a look at the anatomy of the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is composed of lymphoid organs and lymphoid vessels. Lymph nodes are secondary lymphoid organs which are widely distributed throughout the body. We can now see them highlighted in green in our image on the right, and I've circled some of them for you in blue. They are bean-shaped structures and each have at least one afferent vessel and one efferent vessel connecting it to the rest of the system. Vessels that carry lymph to a lymph node are called afferent lymph vessels, and those that carry lymph away from a lymph node are called efferent lymph vessels. Efferent lymph vessels may carry lymph to a vein, into a lymphatic duct, or even to another lymph node. This means one lymph vessel could be efferent from one lymph node and afferent to another. Eventually, all lymph ends up in the venous circulation. Now we'll take a look at the heart and the parts of it that are relevant to our understanding of its interaction with the lymphatic system. In this image, we're looking at the anterior aspect of the heart in situ with the lungs retracted. The heart is a muscular pump responsible for circulating blood throughout the body. It contains four chambers through which the blood passes and is made up of four layers. The heart is located in the mediastinum between the lungs and anterior to the trachea. We'll now go through the four chambers of the heart in the same way blood travels, from entering the heart as deoxygenated blood to leaving the heart as oxygenated blood to supply the body. The first chamber blood enters is the right atrium. In this image we're again looking at the anterior aspect of the heart and the right atrium is highlighted in green. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the venous system. And when the right atrium contracts, the blood moves into the second chamber, the right ventricle, which is the structure we can now see highlighted in green. When the right ventricle contracts, the deoxygenated blood travels into the lungs where it gets rid of carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen, becoming oxygenated blood. When it returns to the heart, it enters the third chamber, the left atrium. This image shows us the heart from a posterior view with the left atrium highlighted in green. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.